country that's increasingly hostile to refugees, asylum seekers, immigrants of any kind, uh, it's nice to know that we have created a platform where we can take the prestige of medicine and the clinical toolkit of medicine and put it to direct work on behalf of people who really need it. Working with the Mount Sinai Human Rights Program has really shaped the way that I think about my future career. I would consider myself an advocate, but I feel like I don't necessarily always know what that's going to look like. I just kind of know how it makes me feel when I'm working on behalf of voices that aren't always heard. It's an opportunity to learn from a really resilient population of patients. They've been through so much to get to where they are, and I think uh, having the opportunity to fight alongside them and advocate and with them as part of this program is really a meaningful experience. Asylum seekers are everybody in the population. They can be a student that just was at one rally and was in the wrong place in the wrong time, artists that have spoken up for political reasons against governments. Oftentimes we see women who have faced gender-based violence, families that flee because they are also being persecuted by gangs. We provide care to the greater New York City area. We also go into detention centers both at the U.S.-Mexico border and in Elizabeth, New Jersey and other jails in New Jersey where immigrants are often detained. It is very difficult to win asylum and it's becoming increasingly more difficult. The most important thing is to have evidence supporting your case. If you don't have that, it's really just your word in front of an adjudicator. So the work that we do is really designed to complement the attorney's case in asylum claims. We do an evaluation, we do an examination, and we document either physical scars or psychological trauma that patients might have undergone. We do this so that we can write a medical legal affidavit in the hopes of supporting their claims. At the end of the day, a lot of these individuals who see these cases are not medical professionals. So how can we as individuals working in healthcare present it in an objective way so that the layman is able to really understand what these individuals have gone through? I think most people will uh, agree that health is a human right, and we try to teach our students to look at health through many different lenses. The social human-to-human -human interaction, which is a huge, huge part of building trust with anybody in life, which is what medicine is about, and I think that's a skill that is very valuable that the program um, affords. I hope that the Human Rights Program serves in a way to highlight that physicians are not just physical healers, but they're also part of a, a community. This really shed a light on one way that I can utilize my interest in medicine and combine it with other things that I care about, whether that's social justice work, ethics, policy, and this has really given me a direction to channel what matters to me. We hope that this will breed the next generation of human rights advocates.